Welcome back to my channel. This time we are going to be having a calculation video on calculation on water of crystallization. This topic is a very interesting aspect of chemistry that too many students they find this calculation very difficult. But it's with my hope that immediately after this short video lesson, you should be able to attempt questions involving calculations on water of crystallization. Now, I'm not going to be using the normal conventional way of calculating questions on this. I would actually drop a shortcut formula that would be of help to you in the area of calculations involving this. Now, what's the shortcut formula? It is given as water of crystallization, water of crystallization is equal to MW times WA over 18 times MA. What does MW stand for? It stands for the mass of water. All right. Then WA stands for the weight, the weight or the molar mass of anhydrous anhydrous salt all right when i say anhydrous it means without water then ma there ma stands for the mass mass of anhydrous salt all right so these are the things that you must know about the um, calculations involving water crystallization this is like a shortcut formula that you can use to attempting questions involving water of crystallization as opposed to the normal conventional way that you have mass of an anhydrous salt over mass of an hydrated equal to molar mass of anhydrous over molar mass of hydrated that one is kind of long cut just use this shortcut formula and then you'll be able to attempt questions on this in few seconds all right so on the board we're having three questions so how can we apply this formula on getting our answers to these questions? So let's start by looking at question one. Question one. Now, I'll be writing the, the formula here. That is the water of crystallization again. So that I'll be working with it. The water of crystallization given as MW times WA over 18 times ma all right so that's the formula now question one question one we are giving 0 0.499 grams of copper sulfate then there was a value here uh before the water of crystallization so which is x unknown value x when heated to constant weight gave residue of 0 0.346 gram the value of x is now what is the mass of water from that question the mass the mass of water how can we obtain it now 0 0.499 grams of copper sulfate containing the water of crystallization when heated to constant weight gave this residue which is this mass so it therefore implies that after heating water was removed so previously the mass was this so after heating it, we now obtained a lower mass, meaning that water was removed. So for us to obtain the mass of water, we have to subtract what this guy from this to get the mass of water. That becomes 0 0.0.499 minus 0 0.346. So when you do that with the help of our calculator, 0 0.499 then minus 0 .0 0 0.346 that should be 0 0.153 grams so this is our mass of water then what about the uh weight of the anhydrous weight of the anhydrous now the anhydrous simply means this compound is hydrated cuso4 dot xh2o what is making this to be hydrated because of this guy this water of crystallization so it means this anhydrous for you to get the weight 
we have to work with their relative atomic masses. Copper is what? 64. Then sulfur is 32. Oxygen is 16. Then this 16 now times 4 will give 64. So when you sum up these values, I think we have to obtain 160 gram per mole. All right. So our weight of anhydrous is 160 gram per mole. Then what about our mass of anhydrous? Mass of anhydrous, meaning without water. So this was the mass when there was water. So after heating, without water was not this guy. So it means the mass is 0 0.346 grams. All right. So we can easily get our answer. Now just run to this guy. That becomes what? Now what's mass of water? 0 0.153 times what's the weight of anhydrous? 160 over there was the uh, mass of anhydrous. Mass of anhydrous is 0 0.346. So with the help of our calculator, let's get the answer to that question very easily. So that gives us 0 0.153 times 160. That is 24.48 over. Now we have 18 times 0 0.346. That is 6.228. So when we do that, that should give us 24.48, then uh, divided by 6.228. That is 3.9, approximately 4. So our correct option is option D, which is 4. All right. So that is the answer to that question. Let's see the question two so you can pause the video and take down these um, calculations so question two question two says 2.5 grams of a hydrated barium salt gave on heating 2.13 grams of anhydrous salt now what is the mass of hydrated is this guy what is the mass of anhydrous is this like i said hydrated means when there is water and hydros means when there is no water so it's just like i have a b dot h2o now this is actually compound a b containing water of crystallization so the thing is anytime you see a compound that has dot h2o attached just know that that water is that compound rather is hydrated compound meaning it contains water of crystallization so at the moment i delete this water of crystallization then this compound now becomes anhydrous meaning without water all right so looking at that question two 2.5 grams of hydrated barium salt gave on heating 2.13 grams of anhydrous salt given that the relative molecular mass of the anhydrous salt is 208 the number of molecules of water of crystallization of the barium salt is dash so how do we go about it mass of water how do we obtain the mass of water we subtract the mass of anhydrous from the mass of hydrated. That becomes what? 2.5 minus 2.13. Now, there is something you should take note of. Remember, see, 2.5 grams of hydrated, meaning there was water. After heating, gave 2.13 grams of anhydrous without water. So that's what you tell that when there was water, the weight was higher or the mass was higher. Now, after heating, the mass was now reduced. From 2.5 to 2.13, that was a reduction. So let's get the mass of water that was removed on heating action. So we can get it by subtracting this from this. So with the help of our calculator, let's look at that now. That should give us 2.5 minus 2.13. That is 0 0.37, 0 0.37 grams. Then what about the weight? The weight of anhydrous weight of anhydrous now we are given the weight of the anhydrous which is the molar mass or molecular mass to be 208 so 208 this question is a very direct one then the mass of anhydrous remember after heating the mass of the anhydrous was what 2.13 grams all right so we can easily get our answer now just run to this guy mass of water is what 0 0.37 times then the weight of anhydrous is what? 208 over then 18, then times, what's the mass of anhydrous? 
2.13. So with the help of our calculator again, let's get our answer. 0 0.37 times 208, that gives 76.96. Over 18 times 2.13, that gives 38.34, or 34 rather. So in that case, we have 76.96 divided by 38.34. That gave 2, approximately. So our answer here is option D. All right? So you see that this thing is very easy. Just use this my Rema shortcut formula, and then you smile when you are getting your answers. All right? So let's look at the last question. The last question. Still applying this same formula. All right? So looking at this last question, 1.34 grams of hydrated sodium tetras of a 6 was heated to give an anhydrous salt weighing 0 0.71 grams. The formula of the hydrated salt is dash. So, how do we go about this? It's still very easy. Now, firstly, we have to get the mass of water. Remember, the mass of water is obtained when you subtract the mass of anhydrous from the mass of hydrated. This was the mass of hydrated. So, 1.34 minus, what is the mass of anhydrous? 0 0.71. 0 0.71. So, let's get that. 1.34 minus 0 0.71. So, let's get the answer to that. 1.34 minus 0 0.71, that gives 0 0.63 grams. All right. Then, what is the weight? Of anhydrous. Remember, I said when you remove water, then you should be left to toward the anhydrous. If the anhydrous is giving us sodium tetras of a six, meaning without water. And of course, the, the formula of that compound is Na2SO4. That's sodium tetras of a six. That's the formula. So, what's the relative atomic mass of sodium? 23. That of sulfur is 32. And oxygen is 16. So, 23 times 2. That should give us 46. Plus 32 plus 16 times 4 is what? 64. All right, because of this 4. So when you sum up everything, let's see what we'll get there. 46 plus 32 plus 64. That gives 142 gram per mole. So our weight is 142 gram per mole. All right. Then what about the mass of anhydrous? The mass of anhydrous was given to be 0 0.71 grams. So 0 0.71 grams. It's very easy now. I just run to these guys. Now it becomes what? 0 0.63, which is mass of water, times weight here is 142 over. Then what about this? 18 times what's our mass of anhydrous? 0 0.71. All right. So can you easily get it. That becomes 0 0.63. 0 0.63 times 142 that gave 89.46 over then 18 times 0 0.71 that gave 12.78 so let's divide 89.46 divided by 12.78 7 direct so it therefore implies that this sort, which is Na2SO4, we contain how many molecules of water of crystallization? Seven. Because that was what we got. So hence, what should be the correct option to this question now? Option A, the one that carries seven. The rest are not having seven. So hence, the answer is option A. So, we have actually seen how you can use that shortcut formula to attempt the questions easily on water of crystallization. So don't tell me that you are unable to attempt any question coming under this. At least with this, with the help of this Rema formula, you can smash any question coming from this. So if you are yet to be a subscriber to this channel or you are yet to follow, do where to follow because more videos will still drop. All right. So those of you that are preparing to write in exams, invite your friends too to be members of this great community. All right. Thanks for watching and stay glued to this channel as more videos are yet to come.